every time I do not have a script, the video is supposed to crash and burn. Every time I do not have a script, the video is supposed to crash and burn and for some reason, I always end up without a script. So when I started talking to people about the maid in the mountains, I realized that not a lot of people are aware of the story behind it. And not a lot of people are aware of Sindhi folklores, apparently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to school you today. Welcome to Folklores 101. The story has been repeated and told in the pop culture so many times. I am going to link songs uh, below for you to realize that you've been hearing about the story the entire time only you didn't know what, who it was about. Sain Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai is to Sindhi what Maulana Rumi is to Persian poetry. And Shah Jo Risalo is a compilation of all his poetry. And one of those 30 sirs is about Sassi. It's a story of a, a girl that was born to a Raja but since the girls at that time were a bane on the honour of the royal family and so the Raja had Sasi put in a wooden box and then thrown into uh, the Sindhu river. Then in a village there was a washerman who was washing clothes alongside that river and he found that wooden box and found out that there was a baby girl inside it and decided to raise her. Now, Sasi then became the daughter of this washerman. She grew up to be this beautiful woman. Sasi actually means like the moon. And when Punnu heard of the stories of her beauty, he, uh, he came to that village and uh, pretended to be a washerman. So Sasi's father would give her hand to him in marriage. But there were some concerns and eventually uh, Sasi's father agreed. Uh, when Punu's father found out about his uh, marriage to a washerman's daughter, he sent the rest of his sons behind him to bring him back. Punu's brothers uh, travelled to Bhambor to convince him not to do this, but uh, Punu still ended up marrying Sasi. Now, on the night of their marriage, Punu's brothers uh, pretended to party with him and they sort of got him intoxicated and drunk and uh, 
when he was unconscious they took him back to their father and uh, sasi when woke up the next day um was heartbroken and her husband was nowhere to be found and she decided to follow him and barefoot in her bridal attire she started traveling towards each makran where bunu was taken on her difficult journey her lips were parched and her feet were blistered and she eventually ran into a shepherd and asked for some water the shepherd wasn't really a good man he sort of had bad intentions for her for a woman alone in a desert and uh, when sasi found out she prayed to god to hide her and to save her and now what happened was the land shook split and it opened up and sasi went inside with the uh, with the part of her dupatta still hanging out and when the shepherd came back with water he saw this happening he instantly repented and asked god for forgiveness when punu woke up in cage he also decided to travel back to his bride because he he also was very heartbroken and when he comes back he uh, ran into the shepherd as well and saw him sitting by a grave and when the shepherd told him the whole story punu realized that it was actually his bride the guy sat there and lamented the same prayer and as the story says the land shook and split up for him as well and he went inside and was reunited with his love as much as people would like to believe that it wasn't true as you can see in my bio i say i believe in miracles and i certainly believe in the story there are graves in bambore so what i painted was the mere moment after punu's prayer when he waited for the land to open up and for him to be reunited with his love the joy of how i picked the title i was going through the translations done by elsa kazi now if you don't know who elsa kazi is you have a lot to learn about sin if you know shaajo risalo you know that elsa kazi has done a translation which is known to be the best version of it in english and there's this line that says the maid in the mountain dies which is where i got my title from a little bit of context about uh, the painting you're going to see in this video is um you'll see the entire process you'll see how i painted the entire thing just the canvas uh, with the cloth hanging out i could not record that part because the the dupatta i was supposed to use uh, i kind of lost it and then i was throwing tantrums at my entire family because i could not find the actual dupatta but then my mom came to the rescue and i just did it all last minute and i was not able to record it but so you know exactly how i go through that process i am going to play a video of me slitting a canvas for the first time when i started doing the series this was back in 2017 i was working on my mini thesis and that is when i started doing this for the very first time it felt so brave it felt so scary at the same time and that is what i have been doing since then if you like this wait for the next vlog which will be of me attending the exhibition where the maid in the mountains is exhibited right now and it will be for the whole month of ramadan so maybe go check that out if you are in karachi